What's up everybody? We have made amazing progress on our hillbilly garden just this afternoon. We've got a great day here in late February. It's 70 degrees in Central Virginia. I'm loving it. Took advantage of the opportunity to come out and get a lot done. I have repaired an old broken entertainment center that is now ready to be filled with soil and then planted with seeds to grow food instead of sending it to the dump or the landfill to just take up more space and stay there forever. We're going to use it to grow food as well as some old containers we have from the recycle bin and a couple of old drawers that used to go to the entertainment center. Now as you can tell we have today laid down cardboard all over the ground so that we don't have to worry about weeds which will be coming up pretty soon here in central Virginia because the weather is warm now and the sun is out but we're going to actually plant our first seeds today in our hillbilly garden as of this recording it's February 23 we're in zone 7 we can go ahead outdoors and start planting green leafy vegetables like kale like lettuce which is what we're going to going to plant today uh, and you can also plant cold hardy vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, and whatnot. Oh, the whatnot. I can't wait to plant that, harvest it, and have it grilled for a little bit of lemon pepper season on it. That's the best way to eat whatnot if you ask me. With no further ado, let's jump inside our hillbilly garden. I'm going to show you what I've done so far, and let's do a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to give you the view as we go in there. I know it looks ugly, but remember, that's part of this project. We're going to spend all year taking a place that my wife wanted me to actually tear down, the wire, the posts, the old hen house we haven't used since last year. But instead, we're going to take advantage of already having the fencing up, the posts up, to protect our vegetables from the animals, the wildlife, and garden. So I'm going to give you the view as we go in, and I know it kind of looks a little bit gross, but that's the point of it because by the end of the year, it's not going to be gross. It's going to be groceries for free. Now here's, again, this is where we kept the girls. Had rabbits in here at one point. That soil's full of nitrogen, so we're going to plant tomatoes in there later this year. But look at what we've done here today already. We laid all the cardboard down, like I said earlier, so that no weeds will come up, okay? We've got a couple of drawers. That's why I have my drill. We're gonna drill some holes into the bottom of the drawers so that the excess moisture can leak out when it rains or when we water our lettuce. Gonna make some, some container pots out of these old containers. I'm gonna show you the biggest project I was working on today, this entertainment center. We got cardboard down there too to keep the weeds out, but it was missing a top, and so I, have a bunch of tongue and groove uh, cedar slats in my in my wood shop. So I took them, cut them down to size, covered the hole, put some you know some some cedar here too to hold it all in better. Now this, and here's where I'm going to ask for viewer suggestions. As you can see, this raised bed is about a foot and a half deep now. We got about 18 inches, so we can put a lot of soil in there and get something uh, that, that has long roots. So now, my question is, what would you plant with this much space? You want to make sure you're being safe. The thing about hillbilly gardening, as you can see here, when you're using old refuse, there's often lots of dangers, like rusty nails, So make sure to either remove them or what I'm going to do here is take the simple solution. Make sure to nail it down so it's not going to poke you. Have it pointing down. Now, as you know, lettuce doesn't require a whole lot of depth for the roots. Okay? So this works perfect. We're going to have about six inches worth of soil here, which is perfect for lettuce. But we do want to have drainage. So that's where we get our handy dandy drill and we're going to drill some drainage holes into the bottom of the drawers. And I got to make sure not to break the drawers more than they already are or they're not going to hold soil. Ah, easy solution. Remember, your number one most favorite tool in the world when you're doing hill, hillbilly gardening or anything else hillbilly is a hammer. If just just hit it with the hammer. It's probably going to fix most of your problems. If not, remember, there's always duct tape. Hammer and a duct tape are pretty much the only tools a true hillbilly needs. Now, 
So you can see I'm just drilling holes here so the water can drain. There you can see we've got plenty of holes for plenty of drainage. And now we're going to do the same thing for the other drawer. Again, make sure there's no nails, nothing nasty that's going to get us. And like that, we're finished. Let's put this drawer back in place. I'm gonna have two drawers of lettuce here. Now, I'm gonna take my Leatherman. It's gonna cut these. You can draw lines on them, but it's not really that necessary. Uh, I'm gonna cut it right below the label. Can't really see. Let me move this back. I've got some cinder blocks out here holding down my cardboard so it doesn't blow away. In time, after a couple of rains, it'll settle into the soil and the cinder blocks can be removed. With the milk jugs, I'm going to go just below where the handle is. That's going to give us enough root space for lettuce. Make sure you rinse these out really well. We did that a long time ago before we even threw this in the recycling bin. Hmm. I think I'm going to save this one for something that needs a little bit more root space because with just a few holes put in the bottom. That can be used for vegetables or other forms of plants that don't require or actually they do require more root space. But now we've got our drawers, a couple of uh, empty, one milk jug, couple of water jugs there. Just again, mixing it up here to show you that when it comes to this style of gardening, you know, container gardening, some people call it, I just call it hillbilly gardening because I mean, hillbilly has been doing this for, for generations, okay? We're ready to fill them with soil and plant some seeds. Best way to do it is just use your hands, get them dirty. Ah, oh, that feels so good. After being inside much of the winter and coming outside and feeling snow, it feels good to feel soil again. Enough for that. Enough there. Let 
stuff there. Well, that didn't go over too well. There. You get any excess oil, put it in there. Well, not quite yet. We're gonna need that again here in a minute. All right. Now, as you know, lettuce seeds are very small. They're hard to spread out and be as specific and exact as it instructs on the back of the package. So I always just kind of sprinkle them out, get them spread out as, as much as I can. Like, uh, and, then, and then I cover them with about mm, half an inch of soil, if that. Yeah. There's a lot of them. I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I use them all today or not. Let's find out. like that spread them all out sporadically make sure there's plenty of spacing again it's the end of February so by planting this leafy green lettuce right now which I certainly can do I it's possible I'm going to get a crop of lettuce that I can harvest and eat before the last frost even gets here, which is when most people wait, of course, to plant their gardens outside. And then I can get another crop. I'll just plant a new crop once this stuff stops coming up. Uh, and probably by starting this early, I can get three crops. And I eat a lot of salad, uh, change my diet big time last year and and as of well this time last year i was 27 pounds heavier than i am now mostly exercise a lot of running mostly distance running but changing my diet cutting out stuff the cancer you know like mcdonald's not sponsored no way in hell sponsored uh junk food potato chips candy bars i used to love to eat i, I just cut all that crap out and now I eat a lot of fruits. I eat more apples this winter than I've eaten probably combined in my, my lifetime. And I'm 48 years old. And it's just made a big difference. And I feel better. So anyway, we eat a lot of salad. There are days, uh, probably three or four days a week, I just have huge salads for lunch. Uh, so lettuce, <laughs> can't get enough of it. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle enough to cover all these up and then since I don't have any water out here with me I'm gonna come out I'm gonna go in and get some water and come back out after the video is finished here and of course give them a little bit of water now you don't want to bury them too much they won't come up they've got to, you know they need to germinate you bury them so far down they're not going to do it so just make sure you can't see the seeds and just like that we're finished so again got a ways to go but check it out check it out big progress today again the completion of the broken entertainment center, which is now ready to be filled with soil, have something planted in it. What would you plant in it if you had access to that? 18 inch high raised bed is pretty much what it is. We got all the cardboard down, so we're not gonna have to worry about weeds. Got a couple of old drawers, some plastic containers. I'm gonna fill this thing up. There's gonna be so many vegetables in here this year. It's gonna be wonderful, but I just wanted to give you that update, show you the progress we made today in just a little bit of time, maybe an hour. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, another installment for our Hillbilly Gardening Playlist. I hope you're following along. And uh, make sure to check back in, see what we've got going on next time we have a day we can come out and get some of this done. See you then for more.